and the Senate is calling for an immediate review of Nigeria's housing policy and mortgage financing such that Nigerians can have affordable housing nationwide. The motion, which was moved by Senator Albert Akpan, indicated the housing sector can also be used to provide available jobs for Nigerians because of its labor-intensive capability. This Senate alarm that the national housing policy projections of government by 2020 provides for a minimum of 17.5 million housing schemes in the country to cater for the projected population growth of 200 million Nigerians. This vision is practically unattainable. This Senate concerns that the national housing caters for only the housing needs of the working class contributors, whereas 80% of the active population of Nigeria remains unemployed. The Senate worried that the disposable loan limit to the fund was reviewed from 5 million to 10 million naira and 15 million 25 years ago, and has remained so till date, despite drastic economic changes over the years. And this Senate further worried that there exists little or no impact on the National Social Housing Development Program in, in the country over the years, and owing to the escalating population growth in our country. There is a dire and urgent need for a total review of our national housing policy framework to meet the needs of our people, especially the poorest Nigerians, in line with the various international conventions and treaties of which Nigeria is a signatory. It's important for us to really uh, review the policy of housing and also mortgage financing, not just because it provides uh, to provide house, house, houses for people, but because the housing construction sector is a job creation industry. Because it is labor intensive, it provides a lot of jobs for the people. If you look at Abuja, the houses in Abuja are, many, are more than the people living in Abuja. Three quarters of the houses are empty. Yet, the house, the policy is still on.